Hello, uh, my name is Larry Aronson. I'm a web developer. Um, I also do a lot of online business consulting because I've been in this business for now 17 years. Uh, I wrote the first book on web publishing called The HTML Manual of Style, published by GD Press in 1994. And uh, it's now in its current uh, fourth edition, um, uh, published now by Addison Wesley. Mostly I help uh, individuals, small businesses, uh, companies get their presence online. I advise them on how to approach putting their content on the web, and then I build their site. Um, for the last three or four years, though, I've been mostly working in WordPress, uh, customizing templates with HTML, PHP, and JavaScript. Um, before I got into the web, um, I was a mainframe programmer for hire, and before that I worked for companies such as uh, Boeing Computer Services and IBM. Well, it's a book about web development more than it is a book about HTML or HTML5, although it is contains a chapter that's a large reference and tutorial on HTML5 uh, and HTML. HTML5 is just HTML with new features. Um, but it's targeted more for um, content creators and editors rather than it is for developers. Um, I think there are probably a, a number of other HTML5 reference books out there for developers. I wanted to address all those people that are creating content through uh, blogs, uh, eBay selling pages, Google Docs, uh, Wikipedia, where it takes HTML or some form of HTML to do more than just have straight paragraphs and give them the tools to make their content on those kinds of sites richer. Um, and what I want to do also in the process is bring my 17 years as a web developer and all the lessons I've learned uh, and make that available to people. Well, that was one of the reasons, uh, because it addresses content creators and editors. Um, and the other reason it's unique is because it has a lot of lessons learned in it. Um, 17 years of working on the web and the kind of things I've learned um, working with all sorts of businesses. I mean, the entire spectrum of businesses and individuals, art, lawyers, real estate, uh, nonprofit organizations. Um, I have a lot that I bring to the table when it comes to web development and web design. Although I don't see myself as a designer, um, I see myself as an information architect. Well, one is that it is accessible. It's very readable. Um, the first chapter, which is available online, it gives the overview of uh, how the web works. And I think it's a pretty good um, uh, description of web hosting, web uh, servers, web clients. Um, I go into a little bit of the history of the World Wide Web to give some idea of how it got to be this way. Because when you look at the totality of web development, there's a lot of little pieces, and you wonder, why has it uh, evolved with all these different pieces doing these little things and the separation of you know, semantic description from styling, from interactive behavior? Um, so I go into all that. Um, that's chapter one. Chapter two is an introduction directly to HTML language. Uh, chapter three goes into styling with CSS and a lot of new features like CSS3, so they, uh, my readers can have a, an idea of what's possible uh, that wasn't, you know, really possible a year and a half ago. Browsers have taken the leap forward into HTML5 and CSS2. Then it goes into chapters about uh, how to use HTML on services um, like Google Docs or Wikipedia or blogs, or to sell a page on eBay, or doing email um, uh, email marketing, email marketing with HTML. 
So I, I go through a number of those examples. And then finally, there's a chapter that says if you are going to build a website from scratch and not use any of these other services, hosting services or other platforms for providing content, then here's what you got to do. Here's how you got to start it. Here's how you got to start thinking about it from the very beginning and doing your planning, setting your goals. So I cover a lot of ground. Nothing very, very deep. I wanted, as I said, to keep it as accessible as possible to the modern day web worker and, and, and less to um, the hardcore developer.